statue on the 75 here with uh, one of the newer pieces I uh, just got from, uh, well I got this a while ago actually, but this is the most recent pop culture shock collectibles um, Street Fighter statue to be released and it's uh, Street Fighter Chun-Li and uh, it says in the box Origins Generation 1987 to 1994. Of course, it's done by Jerry Macaluso's company, Pop Culture Shock Collectibles. And then we also uh, <clears throat> see, of course, Capcom, the maker of the game, Street Fighter. Side of the box has some pretty cool artwork with Ken, Masters, Chun-Li, and Ryu. And then all the same logos. And then the top just says Street Fighter Chun-Li. I'll get to the back of the box in a second. The other side is the same exact artwork on both sides. Now the back. I love how the artwork has changed on the boxes. It's changed for the better, of course. It looks a lot better. Um, the mixed media Chun-Li statue stands 18 inches tall and is expertly cast in high quality polystone and dressed in real fabric clothing, which makes it the premium format. And then we also see a cool thing here, the Street Fighter 25th anniversary logo. It's pretty cool. We see Chun-Li's stats. If you want, you can uh, pause this. I'm not going to read all that. And then you see Pop Culture's logo and then... Capcom's logo. Some more Chun Li stats if you want to pause them. You see, it's made in China, of course. And I got number 77 out of 550. This is, of course, the regular. I got the exclusive Red Sideshow exclusive and Jerry's Pop Culture Shock Black exclusive as well. I'll review those after this. And then we see the. Um, Certificate Authenticity here with Jerry's signature. Jerry was the sculptor of this one, Jerry Macaluso. And the Certificate of Authenticity always looks good. No complaints here for that. Um, now on to the uh, controversial statue. This is probably, you know, one of Jerry's most controversial statues to date. Um, you know, I'm a little upset. Because you pay, I forget the retail on this, I think it's like $350. And you're supposed to get this. And I don't, you know, I know there's an explanation, oh, Capcom approved this and that. But I'm sure Capcom didn't approve crossed eyes. Because this is what you get. That uh, left eye of hers is like looking off to space. Meanwhile, the other right eye of hers is kind of looking straight. Now, I'm going to be fair here, if you display it like that, it looks fine, but if you want to look at it head on, it does not look fine at all. It does not look anything like that. That's how it should look. Whether there's teeth or no teeth, I don't mind that. It's the eyes that look horrible. And I'm kind of aggravated that, you know, for the first time in my life, I'm a little upset with pop culture because, well, I don't know. They, they tried to come up with a solution where... If you mail the statue to them, they'll fix it. They'll paint it for free. That's fine that they're going to paint it for free. But you still have to pay for shipping and insurance and run the risk of damaging your statue. I mean, I know you can't avoid it. It's got to be shipped. But what really sucks is you got to pay for the shipping. So, both ways. I mean, I think Sideshow and Jerry should have worked something out where they ate the cost of that. It was their screw up or their factory screw up that they use not our screw up why should we eat any cost at all in this now i'm going to be fair here so also you know sideshow i contacted sideshow they gave me a credit for this blue one and they also gave me a credit you know i think it was like a 30 dollar credit for this one and 35 dollar credit to my credit card for the red one so i mean that's fair. You can kind of figure that, factor that in as your shipping costs, I guess. So, like I said, I'm not, I'm not trying to slam pop culture because you know Jerry did come up with some of what of a solution, but I still think nobody um, should be um, paying for 
you know, the problem to be fixed. I think the manufacturer should pay to fix that problem because you pay good money for these statues and you shouldn't have to fork out extra money to fix it. But nonetheless, let's um, go on to the, the statue here. So basically, she is beautiful besides the eyes. I mean, I, I think I'm going to send it back to Jerry to have him fix it because I got the black one and I'll put them side by side in a later video when I review the black one and the black one just looks magnificent. Um, like I said, the face is beautiful. A lot of people also complained about this orange tinge on the eyeliner. I really don't have a problem with that. But um, the eye bothers me big time. But everything else on her looks great. She's beautiful, chun -Li. Got a nice uh, rack there. <laughs> and, uh, you know, the fabric and everything is wonderful. And the dragon on the... Uh, you know, the part of her costume is really cool. Everything's stitched very nicely. I like how they put wires in each one of these things for posability. Um, her two hands are magnets. So they, uh, and they're pretty strong magnets too. The magnets are getting stronger and stronger these days. As you can see the magnet in there. So, uh, there was no flaws with the paint job or the sculpt of this, and uh, Jerry even changed this to make it a nicer um, legging than what was originally prototyped. So that was a nice change, and I like how he also added the underwear. I hope she doesn't have leaning problems in the future. She's got a little peg going in there, so keep my fingers crossed that we don't have something like Vega. What happened with all the Vega statues? I got lucky with my Vega statue. I never got leaned in. We see the panties in the back. It's all fabric, which is awesome. Uh, you know, I know I'm, I went off about the eyes, but it, it's a great statue. It's way better than the, uh, from what I've seen on the prototype pictures of the Soda. Quarter scale chun -Li. You know, I'm not trying to slam Soda either, but I, I prefer this one. I think this one looks way better once you have the eyes fixed. And the teeth are a nice addition too. I mean, it's not a huge difference. As you can see, they painted, they painted in the, uh, I'll try and get focus, it's gonna be hard. But in the middle of her lips was supposed to be a little white for teeth and Capcom had a problem with that, like they always have a problem with something. What Capcom should do is instead of having problems with everything is they should make Super Street Fighter 4 Arcade Edition for the 3DS, goddammit. <laughs> But um, anyway, uh, the statue's great. No complaints of you know sculpt-wise or fabric-wise. Uh, it all came together. Like I said, my only complaint is that googly eye, and the fact that I'm gonna have to fork out some money to get it repaired and fixed. But what are you gonna do? At least you know Jerry came up with something. I mean, you know Jerry always tries to help help out. You know, like with the the bison head, he offered an extra head for free. I mean, he, he does what he can, you know. I'm sure I'm sure Sideshow was probably not too helpful either. I mean, they maybe they should have helped out with the situation with the cost. I don't know, maybe pay shipping one way. Who knows, whatever. But it sucks because I have to do it for two of them now. I have to do it for the red and the blue. But like I said, Sideshow also, you know, gave a credit. So factor that in. Just keep my fingers crossed and hope that she arrives safely both ways and no damage. When I ship her, I'm not going to ship any. I don't even know if I'm going to ship the actual box, but I know if I do do the box, I'm definitely not shipping this heavy thing, and I'm going to take the hands off and just ship her body. So uh, I might just wrap her in all kinds of bubble wrap and uh, send her off. But I don't want to risk the base getting ruined. I don't want to risk this getting ruined. Well, I'm going to maybe not send the box because I don't want the box getting damaged anymore either. So I'll probably wrap her really good in bubble wrap and just send her off with no uh, hands. So, alright, this is your Pop Culture Shock Collectibles Street Fighter Chun-Li statue. And uh, like I said, it was number 77 of 550. Got a cool number, Ray Bork. Anyway, have a good night, guys. I'll be coming at you with two more reviews, the red and the black following this one.